What's going on guys? Welcome to today's YouTube video. So today we hit a pull session, so back and biceps. Now I just thought I'd quickly run you through um, like the programming, like how I think about this when I'm doing a pull session. So keep in mind, I hit pull twice a week. So we're hitting back twice a week, biceps twice a week, every week. Therefore, I split my sessions up over two. So when I think about it, like I don't go in too deep. I just kind of think, you know, as long as I'm making, making sure it's even pretty much is what I'm trying to say. So for example, so back. So today we hit three movements. Right. I'm trying to shoot a bit right now. So today we hit three movements for lats. That was the lat pull down, the single arm rows, and the lat pullovers. And one movement was for upper back and mid back, which was the supported T bar row. So on the next session, I will do one movement for lats, which will be pull ups, and three movements for mid back and upper back. Therefore, throughout the week, we're getting four movements for lats, focusing on lats, and four movements focusing on like the mid and upper back. That's pretty much how I go about it to keep it even. Fearless. Now there's two two ways people commonly do this and I don't think there's a right or wrong. It's kind of personal preference and whatever you're going for. So when I'm doing them, you can see my shoulders are stretching all the way up and they touch my ears. So I'm letting my shoulder blades come out of retraction. So technically the tension is coming off my lats a little bit. So I could stop here and come straight back down and it would keep the tension more on the lats. But personally, especially with this exercise, I just prefer to go that full range of motion so you just let it come slightly out, up to there, and then back down. Um, there is no right or wrong, it's personal preference. You could argue that I'll probably lose a bit of tension on my lats, but for me on this one, like I prefer just to go full range of motion, and even if I do lose a bit of tension, it doesn't matter. But if, if you do do lat pull down and you stop there, it's not wrong, and you might even be keeping more tension on your lats. So don't stress if you see me doing these and you're like, oh, I don't go that high, it doesn't matter. Especially if you've eaten an hour ago, pushing your abs into this. Because when you do T-bar rows or any row, you've got to brace your core. So pushing abs into this and then pulling just makes you feel sick. Maybe I'm just a bitch. Huh? That's so funny. <laughs> oh, I should have that to myself. <laughs>
biceps so biceps today both exercises with dumbbells but I hit so that's my heavy bicep exercise and I always do it the first one so I'm nice and fresh is the alternating dumbbell curls so on that I'm just basically trying to overload each week or each month so either a little bit more weight or a few more reps um, and then the second exercise was a incline hammer curl and the reason I did hammer curls was pretty much just hit a little bit more forearm honestly just to change it up a bit because I just did a supinated um, a supinated bicep exercise and then the second 
uh, pool day, we'll, I'll involve some cables and I'll make sure I hit different angles. Therefore, we're covering absolutely everything. It's pretty much that simple. Like, I don't, you don't need to dive into it too deep and try and like pick apart everything because it will just it will just stress you out and then you won't you won't enjoy it. So the main thing, make sure you have fun. Just train hard and yeah, give that session a try. Let me know what you think. See you in the next one.